Wow, everything looks weird. Oh, I'm doing my vlog, honey. <laughs> You're cute. I'm wearing the 3D glasses, honey. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let me take them off. So, I'm waiting to hear back from Art, uh, my filming partner, with the magic eye who sees things through the camera like nobody else. So, I'm really hoping to have him on board for the two short films. Um, I'm looking at my production schedule here, and next week it's all pre-production, all that. I'm actually looking forward to all the boring, like, production sheets, you know, call sheets and all that. Um, looking forward to doing the budget this weekend so I can kick off the Kickstarter. And that should be very cool. <clears throat> So there's a little anticipation. We'll see by the end of this vlog if I've heard from Art. I'm supposed to hear from him around 5 or 6. It is now 5.37. So let me tell you a story. I'm not trying to make you sad. So when I was little I had this Pac-Man watch. And um, it had the buttons instead of a joystick. Later, like about 6 or 8 months after I had mine, they came out with a version that had a joystick on it that was really cool. I wish I had waited. But, so I, you know, it had the four, it had the four uh, pads, up, down, left, right, you know. So I used to do, put my fingers in this position and kind of make it a joystick. Anyway, that's kind of weird. But, uh, and the Pac-Man watch had an alarm, and the alarm went, and that was the alarm sound. Anyway... Uh, so you can play Pac-Man or very lame, like, uh, liquid crystal quartz style uh, gameplay. So I used to play it, and then I went to this school in Blanchard, Timothy P. Timmons Elementary. Hated that school. It was one of my worst school experiences. Anyway, out of all the dipshits that school does, this one dipshit who I liked just fine. Um, his, I think his name was Bert or something. Anyway... Uh, I let him. I would let him borrow my Pac-Man watch from time to time because it was just like the most amazing thing to all us kids, you know. So I'd let him borrow it every now and then. And then one day I was arguing with some other kids, and they're like, "Oh, you don't have any friends." I'm like, "Bert's my friend." They're like, he's not your friend. He's only your friend so you can borrow your Pac-Man watch. And I turned to him and I'm like, "That's not true, is it?" And he's like, "Well, yeah, it actually is." And I was like, well, "Shit, we well, can't borrow my watch anymore." And he's like, "All right," and I was like, "Oh well, crap." <laughs> So that was kind of funny. And here's another story about the Pac-Man watch. The doot 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 doot. If you've heard the song, eventually I just lost the watch at my dad's house. Trailer, actually. I just lost it. It was gone. I couldn't find it anymore. And we had the cassette, tape cassette of The Clash. Um, the album with Rock the Casbah on it. And we used to listen. I don't know why my dad bought us that See cassette. It was cool, but it was just a weird thing for my dad to buy. The Clash. Punk rock, right? So, in that song, there's a... I know this now. In the song, there's a little... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And every time we would listen to it, I would think that was my watch. and be like, oh, my watch is in here somewhere. And frantically look for it. And frantically look for it. Couldn't find it. And then one day, we rewound the song and listened to it again, and I made the connection. Duh. <laughs> All right, uh, stay tuned. I'll let you know if Art calls. Just secured another location for the short films. Uh, recycled bookstore, which I did last time, if you remember. Oh wow, I've made like three short films, so this will be five and six. Anyway, uh, so um, this will be a nighttime shoot at Recycled Books. I did hear from Art. He didn't call me, but he said he's showing up. So I'm here at the uh, Coffee Society. I don't know if you can see that sign, uh, which is next, right next door to this bar, Boswell's. I think being past 6 p.m., I'm more in the mood for a beer than a coffee. Because any of you that know me know I can't drink coffee past 2 p.m. and get to bed before 4 a.m. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm very optimistic, and, you know, just sitting here waiting. I'm making lots of notes. Like I said, I just called and got that other location. So, Kickstarter Jam next. Word up!